Hey, what's up, guys? It's Gadget HD here, and in this um, video, I'm going to be showing you guys to how to install and flash custom ROM on your Google Nexus 4. Now, since you, most of you guys that are watching this are new to rooting and ROMing up and mining your uh, Nexus or any phone for that matter, you're going to want to maybe make an XDA developers forum account or at least um, watch and learn and read about all all the things that are on this. Um, really amazing website so whoops on XDA developers you can basically find a complete list of the greatest ROMs and um, also ROMs that are based on other people's ROMs if that makes any sense to you guys so you're gonna wanna go to xda-developers.com go into the forum and then go to the Nexus 4 and then original Android development that's where you can find the original uh, ROMs from the developers. So for the for the for the purpose of this one, I'm just going to be going to Paranoid Android, their ROM, and I already installed this. All you have to do is install the ROM itself, and then install the Google Apps. In order for this to work, you must have Google Apps also. So we're just going to look and try and find the ROM. So right here we have install ROM and G apps so you guys can click on click on that link to ROM to the ROM install that and then also the G apps so install that too now these are enormous files so they will take forever that's why I already pre-installed them so once you have those both installed you're going to make sure you're going to want to make sure that you have an Android backup and if you don't know what an Android backup is then be sure to check out my uh, video on how to make and what an Android backup is. So next what we're going to do after you've made an Android backup in ROM manager we're going to go into ROM manager again and we are going to go into reboot into recovery mode we're going to grant super user and we are boot rebooting into recovery mode okay guys so now that we are here this is where it gets fun so I'm gonna pick up the phone right here So basically what this is, is um, this is kind of the user interface of how you will install and flash ROMs. Um, wipe your data, wipe your cache, and basically all that stuff. So to scroll down, all you have to do is hit the volume, volume rocker down, and to go up, hit the volume rocker up. And to select something, simply hit the power button. So what we're going to do in this right here is we are going to... Sorry if this isn't really focusing. We're going to go two down and we're going to see install zip from SD card. So we're going to, we're actually, you know, we need to wipe the data and factory reset first. That's why you want to make sure that you have a backup. So we're going to hit yes, delete all user data. And next we're going to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card slot. And you guys are going to look for wherever you saved this. It's normally in O. Sorry sorry that you guys can't see that. O. And then you're going to go in your downloads. And the first thing you're going to want to install is the ROM itself. So for the sake of this video, um, the one that I did was PA, Mac O, and then the date of when I installed it. So we're going to hit yes, install, and we're going to let this run. Okay, now that it finished flashing and install, we're going to hit choose zip again from SD card slot, go to zero, downloads, and this time we're going to go to G apps. And this one is PAG apps full, and then 4.2, and then the date. So hit yes, install, and let it do its thing. After this, what we're going to do is we're going to reboot the phone through 
um, recovery mode again like we were doing earlier and the ROM will be flashed on your phone so we're gonna hit go back reboot system now so now the phone is rebooting with the ROM flashed Looks like Paranoid Android doesn't have any special boot animation. So. And here it is. And you can see Paranoid Android. I'm going to skip through all this. We can see Paranoid Android right here. Let's see. And you guys can see right here, Paranoid Android with its different user interface. I will be doing a video on this ROM. If you guys want to see a full overview with the user interface and everything like that, be sure to check that out. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe for me to continue on with this series. And I want to thank you guys for watching one more time, and I will catch you guys in the next video.